Pomona Valley Hospital is at the center of this controversy. The lawsuit claims more than two dozen patients there may have been involved. NBC Force Kim Baldonado is live tonight in Pomona. Kim? Check and Colleen, one woman says she found out about it after she demanded copies of her medical records and started reading through them and then had to Google a word she didn't recognize. It was OP1 putty. A lawsuit filed against Pomona Valley Hospital Medical Center claims it allowed surgeons to conduct a secret research project in which patients were unknowingly implanted with a medical device that is not approved by the FDA for widespread use. No ordinary person is going to consent to that. Most people want to try the traditional route first, whose safety and efficacy has been established before you try to, you know, go down the road of Frankenstein. Attorney Bijan Espandiari represents one of 17 patients who were allegedly implanted with OP1 putty. It's a surgical putty designed to generate bone growth in a specific area. But the lawsuit claims it migrated into other areas of the patient's body causing excess bone growth, which pinched against nerve centers, causing debilitating pain. It is true that, you know, if you do some experimentation, other people may benefit, but you still have to get the consent of the person. You don't want to turn them into a guinea pig. He says he was shocked when he read this hospital document, marked highly confidential, which reveals his client was not the only one entered into the research project. Pomona Valley Hospital told NBC4 it could not comment on pending litigation. Now, the attorney says the other patients probably don't know they were involved because their names have not yet been released. A trial date has been set for next May. Reporting live from Pomona, Kim Baldonado, NBC4 News.